Tom, nice to have a chat with you. Your football league debut, just first of all, your own feelings. I mean, I'm over the moon to make my debut. It's an unbelievable experience, all you ever wanted from when you're a little kid. It's, it's an unbelievable experience, to say the least. I suppose you've got a lot of people to thank who've helped you along the way that, to, to get you where you are. Yeah, I mean, you've got all the coaches at crew, you've got the gaffer for putting me in, my friends, my family, everyone around, Nantwich, everyone. I, it's, they've helped me so much and I can't thank them anymore. We've got to talk about the goalkeeping coach as well, who you've known for a long time in Fred Barber. You know, he's done his work with you as well, as well as the other goalkeepers that have been at the club. Yeah, you got Fred's Fred's unbelievable. Helped me out so much, like just everything he does, just with kicking, goalkeeping general wise, the experience he's got from being in the AFL for forty odd years, it's, it's a great person to have around you. And especially we've got we've had Arthur, James, Trigger, they're just unbelievable people as well. And having them around and knowing what they do can affect me as well and help me on. Yeah, how how's that go, gone with you? We always talk about the goalkeeping union. Dave Richards is an experienced goalkeeper. He's been at the club a long time and a great great guy as well. But you've had two other younger goalkeepers as well, and Arthur Conco and James Beadle in that setup. So how's that all helped you? Well, Arthur was was brilliant. He he helped you out in any way that he could, especially just day to day. He because he, he knows where he's been like a, a young keeper himself. He knows what the pressure is. Same with James. James was great character. Like especially he's got really great talent. Going to be have a bright bright future. And Trigger's obviously got the experience, so Trigger can help me out as well. And that's what he's done. Let's turn the clock back a few hours and when you got to know that you were going to be on the team sheet, how were you? Did you sleep? <laughs> I mean, it was a nervous night last night when I found out, but I, I was all right. I had a, a full eight hours kip, stayed in bed this morning, but obviously you get you get nervous for your first start and you, can, you can't get rid of those nerves sometimes. Helped so. out by your teammates as well, though. As, you know, I know you've lost the game, which is a disappointment. But I suppose that the the lads were all all with you. Yeah, especially when you got Kelv, Rod, Offord, and Tariq in front of you. Kelvin's vastly experienced. Rod, same, and often Offord being a captain, he helped you out so much. And Tariq, with with being young too, you can relate to him. This was your big day. This is the big day, as you said, that you worked for. For instance, you're a little small boy now. You're a big tall boy. And uh, uh, the, the, the old $64 million question is, you've got in, you've got to stay in. Yeah, ho hopefully I've done enough to stay in for, for Saturday against Swindon. But you can, you can only take one game at a time. And that's what I have to do. What Can't... would you say the biggest thing that you, you've learned from, from the experience, just in that one game? Oh, the, the tempo of the game is so much quicker, the, the fans around you are affecting it. Obviously, at Nantwich is only seven, eight hundred. And when you come here, you've got the big lights, the three, four, five thousand people around you. You just, it's just a different, different atmosphere. And you've got to, got to cope it under, under the pressure. Congratulations on your day. I know Brilliant. the result wasn't right. And it's nine out of 10 for your first two and you well done. Brilliant, thank you.